three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is our second day. Uh, I was at the first day event virtually. It was absolutely amazing uh, hearing the different speakers from all around the world. I was, I was actually inspired. Were you inspired? Uh, I was very inspired by the different stories that I've heard. Uh, truly life-changing for me. I, I, I'm actually here in the United States. My name is Jim Lupkin. I'm the executive director and president of the Social Networking Association. And I was up at three o'clock in the morning listening to all these speakers. And uh, I remember after, as the day went on, I was like, wow, there's, there's some really change happening in network marketing. And uh, it was truly inspiring. So I wanna throw that out with the Asian Networkers Conference. This is something magical happening here. And, I, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be part of this. I feel very blessed to be part of this. So let me jump into what I wanted to talk about. Let me ask you a very important question. How would you like to never run out of people to talk to for your business? Sure, right? Of course you would. And what does that mean per day? It means talking to five new people every single day for your business, maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe 30 new people every single day in your business. Would you like that? Let me know in the chat box. I'm sure the answer is yes. We all would. If that could happen, it means whatever success you're looking to have in your business, it will happen because you have a lot of people. Now, that, that is what social media is all about. That's why I wanted to ask you that question. That's why we believe that this pandemic has accelerated the worldwide social media revolution in network marketing. In fact, in all of business around the world. And it does something so beautiful. It allows all of you to never run out of people to talk to for your business. Now, I'm a little passionate about social media because I've been doing social media for 25 years. Yes, social media has been around that long. And, and I've been doing it that long. And uh, for all of you, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some backstory on things that hopefully are going to inspire you. But I also want to give you some educational tips that also will allow you to move forward to build your business today. And then I'm gonna show you how it kind of all comes together. So it was in the late 1990s, about 25 years ago, I was a distributor in network marketing. Some of you are like, wait a minute, Jim, I'm only 20 years old. I wasn't even born then. Well, listen, I had to do social media back then for one reason. I had no choice. I was forced to do it. I was forced to do it because I was 18 years old. I was still in school in what will be called high school here in the United States. And I tried to do it face to face, but the older people didn't want to listen to me. I was too young. And so I was forced to go on the computer and figure this thing out. Well, back then I had one goal. I just wanted to make enough money to not have to work a job. I wasn't thinking about becoming a millionaire or driving this or that or, or, or doing all these things. I just wanted to make enough money that I did not have to work a job. So I used social media back then through what was called chat rooms and message boards. And I was able to build a team that I ended up getting paid off of 3,000 customers in residual income. And it gave me that opportunity to live my dream. That is when I fell in love with social media. Now, some of you right now are being forced to do social media. Some of you don't want to do social media. Some of you are so used to growing your business face-to-face. -face. Some of you are so used to growing your business other ways. You're being forced to do it, just like I was forced to do it 25 years ago. And I share that story with you to show you that it's okay. You can have success with this. For all of you that just wanna get a couple customers, a couple distributors. I hope that story that I just shared with you was a little motivating. If it was, let me know in a chat box. Say, yes, Jim, that was motivating. That right there proves to you that you can have that type of success. Now, let me give you an educational tip that can help you move your business forward today based on that one story. What I learned back then, the most important thing that I learned on growing my business through social media was the power of relationships. 
the better I was at building a relationship with somebody else, building that friendship, the easier it was to get to the 3,000 customers. So that's your first tip for today. I need to build a relationship, a friendship with other people through social media in order to get them to do business with me. Now, here's the mindset I need you to have. When you're building a friendship with people, it's not about I will build a friendship with them so that they do business with me. It is I will build a relationship with them because I want to be their friend. I don't care if they ever do business with me. If you have that mindset, one out of five of every people you build a real relationship with will do business with you anyway. Let me know if that helps. But then some of you right now are saying, Jim, that sounds all great, but I want to be the top achiever in my company. I want to be the top recruiter, the big producer. Can I do that with social media? The answer is yes. That was my second company. I was really fortunate to be mentored by one of the most successful people in North America in network marketing back then by a man by the name of Mark Yarnell. And he was very successful all around the world. He took me under his wing. And he taught me how to be a professional network marketer. Now, this was in the early 2000s. And at that time, I'm in my early 20s. And I had a lot of ambition. I was like, I want to be like the top person in the company. So using social media and what he taught me, I end up becoming the number one recruiter in that company. Over the course of two years, I sponsored, enrolled, recruited about 600 distributors. So about 25 distributors every single month plus a lot of customers. So in the chat box, would some of you like to enroll 600 distributors yourself personally over the course of two years? I would think yes. But something more, something more um, exciting happened. 40% or 20 of the top 50 distributors in the company were on my team. That means 20 of the top 50 distributors in the whole entire company also became top recruiters, all because of social media. I hope that inspires you. Now, what did I learn during that? What, what, what's the educational tip? The educational tip was this. I learned that if I took a relationship and I combined it with influence, I would enroll people much faster. Now, what's influence to me? Influence to me is when people believe that I believe in my product or service. They also believe that I believe in my opportunity. So how do you do that? You become your own customer. You fall in love with your product by seeing personal results within yourself. That's the fastest way to building influence as a customer. Now, how do you build influence quickly as a distributor? By just going out there and talking to people and seeing your check getting bigger and bigger. The passion will come from a combination of those two. That's a great educational tip. You need to do that on social media. Now, some of you right now are company owners, you're executives, and you're saying, okay, that sounds good, Jim, but can this go big on a company level? Can I build this on a company level? The answer is yes. I also did that. Um, I was on the executive of a company, and that company, over the course of just over 12 months, close to 16 months, we grew that company by over 120,000 customers over 45,000 distributors and over 70 million US dollars. And we did that inside of the United States. And we, and we did it mostly within two states inside of the United States. What does that mean? I know most of you that are listening in are in Asia. And I was fortunate to be in Bangkok and Hong Kong last year. I believe if we would have built that company in Asia, it probably would have been five times bigger in that same time frame. So that's a lot of success. Can it happen? Yes. Now, here's what we learned as the educational tip for you today. We had the relationships, we had the influence, but there's that third piece, that life experience. No matter how excited we were about the product and the opportunity, we were still only enrolling one out of five people as customers and distributors. Why? Simple. Because the other four people had yet to have a life experience. 
So understand that no matter how great your product is, no matter how great the business is, you're only going to enroll one out of five if you do social media correctly. That means most people are still going to say no. And they're not saying no to you or the company. They're saying no because they haven't had a life experience yet. So here's the definition of a life experience. They don't believe that they need your product or service yet, or they don't believe they need to make extra money yet because something has not happened in their life that really changed their life yet. Let me know in a chat box if that makes sense. Those are three big pieces at the um, at that, that principle level of understanding social media. Now, I'm not the only one. I really feel blessed to be the executive director and president of the Social Networking Association. The Social Networking Association has a group of people like me that believe in everything I'm talking about. And it's why we came together. We work with distributors in more than 101 countries. We work with company owners and executives in more than 101 countries, as well as vendors and support companies. And we've all come together because we believe in what I'm sharing with you. So let me share with you four more educational tips based on what we're doing here at the association. We've seen more than ever before people that were not capable of enrolling a new customer or a new distributor every single month, and now they're doing it consistently every single month. Someone that didn't sign up any customers, any distributors at all in their company, uh, and then all of a sudden are signing up one, two, three customers, distributors every single month. It's fascinating. And those people are so excited. Their lives are being changed. We're seeing that happen within the association community. Why? Well, besides what I taught you, let me throw in another educational tip. It's community. So with community, it's this. I love face-to-face. -face. I love face-to-face -face because it allows me to build a community. A community is if we took 500 people, put them into a room, talk to them about the opportunity, and then ask them to join. Because of all of those people, a lot of them would join the business because of all the excitement and energy. So the question then is, how do we create that community on social media? Well, that's the first thing you need to do is you got to create that community on social media. My recommendation is that you create it at the company level or at the distributor level, but for a top money earner. That way there's enough activity and there's very structured principles in order to do that. But just for this session today, just having your mind, I have to create that community. That community is, is what's making that happen, where people are, are having success where they never had success before. Another educational tip is, even though the community is important, you gotta have what I call conversations. So before social media, for most of us, we would have our conversations face-to-face. -face. We'd have them on the phone. We'd have them through text. We would talk to our friends one-on-one -on -one and talk to them about our product and our business. You have to do the same thing on social media. Does it work? Yes. We actually have one of our council members uh, was very reluctant to do social media. She didn't want to. She was used to the old way. But she, she, th this was before COVID-19. She got into a position where she was just tired of all the traveling. She was older. She wanted to be with her children. So she gave social media a try. And this is before COVID. Last year. Her business did 50 million US dollars in downline sales. Would you like that? Yes, that is powerful because she's harnessed the power of conversations within social media. But then there's another educational tip and that is the power of never running out of people to talk to. And it's knowing how to connect with people on social media that you would normally connect with in the real world. Don't, don't go after the cold market. And when I say that, I'm talking about advertising. I'm talking about funnels. I'm talking about attraction marketing. I'm talking about building out all these cool websites and um, doing things that cost money and require you to have an expertise. Do they work? Yes. But they only work for a small percentage of people. What works for the masses in network marketing is what works for network marketing for the last 25 years 
The founder of our association has been doing network marketing for 62 years. That's right, 62 years. She's in her 90s right now. What made her successful 62 years ago is what makes us successful today. The power of relationships and word of mouth. So the question is, how do we do that inside of social media? That is how all of you want to master it. And when you master that, some of you will decide to do advertising. Some of you will decide to do the other things. But for 99% of you, focus on word of mouth and those relationships. That is how you'll have the success in the shortest period of time. So does that work? Yes. One of our members has over a million distributors in her downline. She did it in seven years from start to finish. She did not come from another company. She did not um, have all this experience in network marketing. She came from another company. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She did not come from another company. She started new in seven years, over 1 million distributors in her company, in her downline, millions of customers. And she mastered the two other pieces that I just finished with is how to never run out of people to talk to, by connecting with people that you would normally connect with in the real world, but you're finding them on social media. So you would be friends with them anyway, even if social media did not exist. And then the other part is the follow-up, how to properly follow up with people on social media three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, so that you could eventually talk to them about the business. So with that being said, we're gonna move into Q&A right now. And uh, before we move in real quickly, let me give you two assignments that I would like for you to do after this call. First one, prove to yourself that you have the ability to build a relationship on social media. Find me on social media. Go onto your favorite social media site, type in my name, Jim Lupkin, send me a private message. Say, hello, I saw you on the Asian networking conference and tell me why you are in the company that you're in. Prove to yourself that you have the ability to build a relationship. That's your first one, find me. Second one is if you really need to get moving, you can go on Amazon in your local country. You can look for this book, Never Run Out of People to Talk To. This is a book that I authored. It's a bestseller. And this will get you started with the right philosophy and principles of social media. We're selling this book at cost. So we're not making any money, but this will get you moving in the right direction. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Hopefully you guys have some good questions. Hopefully I brought some value to you today to help move your business on social media. So um, if you like, we can jump into Q&A. Okay, thank you very much for that one, Mr. Jim. And uh, we actually have some questions here from your listeners. Awesome. So uh, the first one here is, uh, uh, how do you choose uh, which social media to use and which social media is good for networking? Fantastic question. So um, I have this philosophy of you build local to grow global. So first look at, you wanna build your business in your own backyard, where you live, in your own city, in your own town is where you wanna build first. You may never meet with those people face to face, but the fact that they know you live close helps them sign up in your business faster. So if you're, if the most popular web, if the most popular social media platform in your area is Facebook, you use Facebook. If it's WhatsApp, Line, WeChat, whatever is the most popular social media platform in your local area, that is the one that you use. Now, as you, you build there, it will naturally grow into other cities and then expand throughout your country. And it will eventually go into other countries organically or naturally. And then the same thing will happen in the other countries. Whatever is the most popular site in those countries, it will naturally um, go, go there. But I've seen... People have success on all of the most popular social media platforms today. Okay, great. Now, um, another question from one of your listeners. Now, how has social media changed people's view of marketing, general marketing? The masses today outside of network marketing are going the traditional route on social media, meaning how do I build a website or a sales funnel? And then how do I drive leads to it through advertising? And then how do I drip on them by doing things like a Facebook bot? Uh, and you can do similar things like that on WeChat. So the whole mindset is spending money. Within network marketing, I'm noticing that people that have money in network marketing 
because they're top money earners, they're trying to do the same thing because they think that that is the way to go. Stop, pause, take a step back and say, what got me to be the top distributor in my company? It wasn't that, it was word of mouth. So we all need to kind of do a reset and say to ourselves, word of mouth relationships is the way to grow business before COVID. How do I figure out how to do it on social media? Okay, great. And then uh, another question here, we actually have a lot of questions. Okay, so now how has social media changed uh, the global business? How has it changed the global business? Oh my gosh, there are so many stories of, of, of what this is happening. You know, because I've been doing it for 25 years, I'm not, I'm not amazed at any of this because I've, I've been doing it for so long, but it, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see how amazed people are. Uh, people thought the only way you could build business is face-to-face -face because they thought if you would get on a Zoom like this, we, we wouldn't be able to build a relationship fast enough that you can build a relationship faster if you're face-to-face. -face. So um, now I still believe in meeting face-to-face -face when the opportunity arises and it will once we get control of this pandemic. Uh, but this moving forward, this will be the main way that all networkers build their business. And, and I believe, I'm, and, I, and I believe this strongly, I believe this was already happening. We were already moving this route the pandemic has sped it up by five to seven years. In five to seven years, we would already be where we are today, where most distributors would be building social media first and everything else second. Pandemic just made it happen faster. Okay, great. And then of course, um, another question here. Um, how do you deal with negativity when it comes to social media posts? Another great question. Uh, when when you are talking to people, here's, here's what I suggest. Do not get involved in conversations that create negativity. So for example, uh, politics in the world have a great opportunity to get people arguing with each other. So you have to say to yourself, do I wanna get in an argument or do I wanna build my business? Make that decision. There are ways to talk about politics, as an example, in a very positive way without causing a fight. The same thing with religion. Religion can cause a battle on social media, too. So what you have to do is decide, I need to speak my truth, but in a very positive and loving way on social media, the same way that I would do it face to face. So uh, just understand that if you speak negativity on social media, it will hurt your business. If you speak negativity because you feel that you're standing up for something, ask yourself, will it really make a difference or is it just going to make me feel good? 99% of the time, it's just going to make you feel good. It's actually not going to create change. Create change in anything. You got to do something more than just arguing with somebody one-on-one -on, -one on social media. So understand that it's just not worth it. Focus on your business. I believe we create change at a mass level by love and actually caring for each other. And when that happens, there, there is no argument. Okay, great. And uh, for a final question now, uh, this one is from an anonymous user. Um, isn't social media changing all the time? If so, how can you have a trustable system for building business there? Social media is changing all the time. Uh, I probably know it better than most because I started 25 years ago and the amount of changes that it has gone through over 25 years is amazing. Here's what I've noticed. My entire focus year after year after year is how do I build better relationships and influence with people where I, where I would do it face to face? How do, how, how do I keep that going? What I've noticed with social media is if you have that mindset, whenever the changes happen, nine times out of 10, you will notice that those changes help you build better relationships with people. And so when the changes happen, embrace them because nine times out of 10, they actually help you build a better relationship than before the change. But if you don't have that mindset and you're looking at it from a non-relationship point of view, then what happens is these changes happen and now you get stuck in your own way and now you feel like it's a negative. So um, all the changes I've seen in 25 years, None of them I've seen have hurt me. I've only seen them help me. Like when I, uh, someone asked me uh, just the other day, 
how long would it take to enroll 20 to 25 distributors into your company every month? If I was a distributor today, I said, back then I would work eight to nine hours a day because I also had to support my team. Today, I can do it in four hours a day by focused on relationships. It's because of all the changes we're talking about that makes the platforms better. So you, you, you have to find a mentor, someone that really understands social media to keep you abreast of those changes so it doesn't get so overwhelming. Um, and, and because this is the last question, I like to just throw in one more thing that's very important when you're building your business on social media. It's understanding what you're fighting for. Um, I heard a distributor yesterday, a woman, uh, she's so inspiring to me how she was building her business for her, her mom. And uh, I thought it was, it was very inspiring. I want you to understand, do not chase the money in your business. You're not going to get anywhere if you do that. Um, I, I have a fundamental principle that you chase your core values, the things that make you happy. So one example real quick is what makes me happy. I have five core values. One of them is inspire. It's why I'm on with you right now at 3.30 in the morning, my time. I'm excited because I can hopefully inspire just one of you to do something better in your life. That, that right there means I'm already successful no matter how much money I make. Fall in love with your core values. Um, for, for, you, for any of you that know Six Sigma, I'm, I have a very strong principle with that. Fall in love with your core values. So that way, starting today, you're already successful in your business no matter how much money you make. That will help you stick to what I'm talking about on social media because you fall in love with the process. You fall in love with just doing the work. You don't fall in love with the check. That's how you get to the big money faster. Okay, great. Um, uh, this has been a very great session, Mr. Jim. And uh, hopefully uh, we can have you again next time on Asian Networkers Convention and Expo. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the invitation. And again, for all of you that are listening, find me on social media, reach out to me. If you're on Facebook, jump on there. I respond quicker, but any other site and show me that you have what it takes to build a relationship. Thank you everyone. Much love. And hopefully I'll meet all of you one day. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.